A very warm welcome, everyone. I, Dr. Ritika Diman, on behalf of Voice of Healthcare, thank you all for joining us today as we pay tribute to the exceptional healthcare professionals who tirelessly look after our well being day and night. Voice of Healthcare, along with our supporting partner, Apollo Hospitals, has taken an initiative to recognize National Doctors' Day through our video series, Know Your Doctor, which aims to showcase the diverse interests and passions of our esteemed doctors. On this National Doctors' Day, let us express our gratitude to these extraordinary individuals. So let's get started with the introduction. I welcome Dr. Sanjay Shah, Senior Consultant, Emergency and Trauma Surgery, Apollo Hospitals. Welcome, Dr. Shah. Namaste. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. I wish you a very happy Doctors' Day. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, so, uh, to begin with, what inspired you to pursue a career in medicine? Uh, so basically, uh, it's quite noble profession, and uh, right from my schooling days, I wanted to become a doctor. Uh, though there was not a single doctor in my family, whether it is on a maternal side or a paternal side, so that uh, continued uh, to be an inspiration for me. That I guess I want to be a doctor, not only just for the community but also for my family, which does require. And uh, yes, uh, in our era, most of the time it was a medical profession, engineering or a chartered accountancy, which was one of the career options. So as a career also, I continued to be uh, in a good, normal profession that is uh, in medicine. Right, so your family uh, were the key uh, points or were the key factors that influenced your uh, interest in medicine. Yes. yes. Yeah. So uh, we are talking about medicine. So are there any particular advancement or technologies that you find intriguing or believe will have a very significant impact on the future of healthcare? Um, as you are a trauma surgeon, so specifically in trauma surgery or emergency medicine. Yeah. Uh, see, basically, uh, you know that uh, today's era is of uh, IT driven. Uh, you know, and uh, most of the time it's the AI that is artificial intelligence that has also come up in uh, the field of medicine of late uh, in last couple of years. And uh, particularly in emergency department, pathology, radiology, all these things are being driven in future with the AI. And the big data and analysis of it is going to play a huge, uh, uh, you know, change in the, this uh, field. And one more is robotics and navigation system that has also started in last decade. And still, it is going to get expanded and uh, people will be able to operate on the remote locations as well. So I would put AI, robotics and navigation is going to play a huge role in the future of the medicine. Yes, so uh, yes, as you have mentioned that uh, there will be amalgamation of uh, technology with healthcare, uh, which will lead us uh, uh, into a better or a significant, uh, uh, you know, healthcare uh, uh, advancements, we can say, and robotic is the one that is currently uh, ongoing and will have uh, in next 10 years will transform basically healthcare systems. Exactly. Yes. Uh, so uh, what is uh, that message that you would like to give to your fellow doctors apart from their professional, uh, apart from your professional, uh, uh, you know, uh, career or apart from what uh, as a doctor that you are doing on a yeah. personal front, on a personal note? Okay. Well, there are a couple of the things which I wanted to tell you for the younger generation of uh, doctors that uh, they need to be more committed and sincere, particularly in this profession, because this is going to, uh, you know, uh, uh, this is basically a requirement for patient care. So along with co commitment, uh, you need to have uh, empathy or sympathy regarding patient and their uh, relatives. And secondly, on a personal front, yes, it is uh, time consuming as well as uh, lack of the time to be given to the, your family members. So you need to have a good balance. So you need to maintain yourself cool and calm at the same time, give time to your family uh, whenever you can give and uh, keep a balance between uh, personal life and professional life. Otherwise, uh, many of the younger generation, they find it very stressful. 
so you need to have a balance. Yes, so in every profession, work-life balance should be there. So that is one major thing that you have told. And uh, about uh, the commitment, uh, because doctors uh, should have compassion uh, and empathy. Uh, but uh, one thing is, uh, which is add more value to the commitment to the patient, uh, because they are taking care of not just the patient, they are taking care of their families as well. Uh, so uh, with this, uh, I would like to end this uh, conversation here. And I would like to thank you and all the doctors who selflessly serve our nation's health. And together, we salute your dedication, compassion, and unwavering commitment to our health. Thank you so much, Dr. Thank you. Thank you so much for the opportunities. Thank you. Yes.